Welcome to Road Gear Reviews. My name is Kaylee. And I'm Josh. And we are from the YouTube channel and blog The Freedom Theory. And today we are reviewing Living the RV Life, written by Mark and Julie Bennett from RV Love. Stay tuned. So welcome back you guys. So many of you know Mark and Julie from their wonderful blog and YouTube channel RVLove.com and they also completed the RV Success School which is an amazing course on living the RV life. They then got snatched up by some publishers to write the ultimate guide on living in an RV. So we are going to jump into this review. The first thing that I want to say is that this is the book that I wish we had when we started RVing. We, when, when Kaylee and I got the idea to RV, we got on YouTube, we got on blogs, and everything that we saw was very, very pro RV. Just nothing could go wrong. Everything was going to go right. You know, um, you'll live for $200 a month, save a it's bazillion rainbows dollars. rainbows and butterflies. Yeah, rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> then when we found out that wasn't the, the way things actually were, we and a lot of other people went the other direction and really tried to show the, you know, the cons to RVing and, you know, we tried to show the pros, etc. Their book does such a great job of balancing that out and showing you the amazing things that you can find and do and see by living in, by living the lifestyle, but also showing, okay, these are some of the challenges that you might face. And, yeah. But, and doing it like that. I mean, it was such a wonderful balance. So when you read it, you're inspired, but you're also going into it saying, okay, I, I know that this might happen or this might happen. Just such a wonderful balanced approach. I binge read it, even though we've been RVing for what, close to four years now. Yeah, it'll be four years in January. Yeah, I, I binge read it. This is the book that I wish we had. So if you're thinking about RVing at all, if you're planning to one day in the future, if you, ever think it might be on your radar, this is a book to read. Mm -hmm. And this book really is written for someone who is looking to enter the lifestyle. I think this is a great book to have even if you are a full-time RVer. Mm -hmm. I find myself picking it up, looking at pictures, and also I felt really inspired. When I was mm -hmm. reading through it, I was like, oh man, we live this life. Like mm -hmm. We have this incredible opportunity. And you know, we've been stationary for a little while, so this kind of kicked in the high gear Can again. we catch up and go now? Yeah, <laughs> it brought up that excitement again, that wanderlust that we have. And I think if you've got that wanderlust, maybe if this is a far off journey or you're looking at doing it in the next couple of months, you're going to want this book. I really resonated with the chapters that covered the emotional transition. And I really felt like that gave a really clear perspective of what you're going to come up against when you do hit the road. That's something when I first started RVing, I was very passionate about. I made videos about that and I think there's again there's this resurgence of RVing and I think it's important that once you move into this very exciting lifestyle that you're going to come up against these emotions that mm -hmm. they discuss and you might have pushback from family and friends and when you're with the love of your life and all of a sudden you're in 38 feet you <laughs> might want to uh, figure out ways to get your own time and know how to put on headphones. <laughs> yes, that was <laughs> one of the about. tips that was in this book was get big headphones. And, you know, so Josh has noise reduction headphones. I have noise reduction headphones. It covers RVing with kids. It covers travel planning. And I don't want to spoil the book, but it's real good. Something that I loved about it is that it is chock full of resources. So they cover a lot of areas like road schooling. If you're planning on going on the road with your kids, some of the pros and cons, but then they point you to resources on that topic. They point you to um, full-time families, which is an RV group for full-time families, we're obviously. Part of, yeah, yeah which, which we're a part of now. But when it comes to mobile internet, they give you a high-level overview, and then they point you to resources like Technomadia that give just a wealth of information. So don't think of it as just something that's cursory, like a really high-level interview or a really high-level overview of full-time RVing because they've got resources for everything. If you want more information on a particular topic, even if they didn't go into in-depth detail in the book, perhaps because the topic is so huge, they point you to resources. They point you to resources on memberships, on mobile internet, on RVing with family, RVing with kids, on the emotional side of RVing, on downsizing, the emotional side of that. I, I mean, 
I just can't say enough good things about it. Like I said, even though we've been RVing for four years, I binge read it. I just sat down and and read. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was so great. We do think that this would make a really good gift. You can purchase it on Amazon and it is in bookstores almost everywhere. It's also at some Costco's, which is incredible. I loved seeing Mark and Julie posting pictures in Costco because I'm yeah. like, that's one of my favorite places. I'm, <laughs> they're in there. That's so cool. So that is... Those are some of the places that you can get it. We will have it linked down below if you'd like to grab it. I love the way it's laid out. I think they have a lot of case studies, which I think are really important because it shows different stories and different perspectives from being on the road. So it's not just Mark and Julie's voices that are in here. They also have really incredible people who are out living this lifestyle. They have families, they have solo RVers, they have couples, they have all walks of life who are living this lifestyle. So I think that's very important and it was very thoughtful to put those different case studies in the book. And also visually, it's it's beautiful just to mm -hmm. give you a little snippet and a lot of these people we're friends with we follow on Instagram and follow on YouTube so it is so fun to see this community come together mm -hmm. in a book that's all yeah. about the RV life speaking of the case studies one thing that I really liked was that they pointed out how full-time RVing isn't just for retirees anymore there's so many people who are entering this lifestyle for various reasons. Maybe they just want the freedom of a nomadic lifestyle or they want to pay down debt. There are so many different reasons, but there are RVers of every category, single people, young people, young professionals, middle-aged people. I mean, retirees, there's just so many people living this lifestyle now and their book covers it all. Um, one chapter or one section was on ways to make money on the road. And that's something that applies to everyone. How can I fund this lifestyle? There are some people who have a job that allows them to work remotely and so they're able to just pack up and go. Other people need to be thinking about, okay, how do I fund this? So the case studies were great to show you just a different type of people who are doing it, how they're funding their travels, and a little bit about why they're doing it. There was one particular case study from uh, Tom and Kate Morton, or Tom and Caitlin. There was one particular case study from Tom and Caitlin Morton from Morton's on the Move. They're good friends of ours and I love reading their case study because they talked about how they initially set out on a two year journey and now they said there's many people do that. Yeah, and now they said there's no end in sight. And I love that because when we met them, they were talking about the end of their two year journey and what they were going to do after that. And then as we were talking, they were saying, well, we're leaning more and more towards just making this indefinite. And now they're saying there's no end in sight. So the case studies were just so great to show you how people are feeling, why they feel that way and why they chose to live the lifestyle they do and how they fund it. So four years ago, we spent a lot of time looking through blogs and watching a lot of YouTube videos. But I think if we would have come across this guide, it would have saved us a lot of time and energy. So we'll have it linked down below for you to check it out. It is a really great resource. It's beautifully done. It's beautifully written. And we 10 out of 10 do recommend that you add it to your Amazon cart if you haven't already. And if you are looking for a gift for somebody, we think this would be an excellent one for this holiday season. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. We would love to hear from you guys. If you do find their book in store definitely take a picture and tag them in it they love seeing that and until next time we will see you down the road bye, bye.